Hello everybody, my name is Zen, and I'm here with a video that a lot of you, statistically speaking, are gonna be super excited for, which is the fact that Terraria 1.4 is available on consoles now. Well, specifically Xbox and PlayStation, um, it will be coming to uh, Nintendo Switch at a later time. It's also already available on mobile, if you didn't know that. That's just kind of cool little things. I'm playing on my Xbox right now. Just look, look, I got my, my controller, as you can tell. Um, a little pro tip, the Xbox and PlayStation versions do have keyboard and mouse support now. So if that's something that you really want to do, you can absolutely do that. But we're just going to play a little bit on the console uh, with the controller so I can kind of show show it off a bit. I will say, though, th the, the thing to keep in mind with the console version, it is absolutely 1.4. You can absolutely go do the Empress of Light and all this stuff. It is a little more awkward on the controller. The game isn't necessarily well suited to it. However, even with that said, I think it runs quite well. And if you've never played Terraria before and you've never really wanted to pick it up because of, I don't know, money issues, and you happen to, I mean, this is like such a small, if you happen to have Xbox Game Pass, you can play Terraria 1.4 on your Xbox, which is also really cool. Uh, I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna we're gonna change some things up because right now we're set to journey mode, but let's set this sucker to master just so we get all of that going. Um, you can do all of the normal journey mode stuff that you can in 1.4 on the console. Um, you can even like go in and do all this stuff. Uh, so like I could just go ahead and research all these items now if you've never played terraria before maybe you're jumping in now for the first time because you're like hey it's on console finally well at least the new update is uh this stuff allows you to research items think of it like uh what's the, what's the best play way to put it let's let's think of it like um creative mode in minecraft except you you gotta work for it yeah right you, you gotta work for it so in order to do the duplication of items in order to have infinite items as our little finch bird that we start with is just working his way uh, down on that that uh that slime also um this is I, I this is a journey mode character which is why i have the finch staff already and why it starts you with like some iron stuff instead so yeah the thing to keep in mind here is as you gain items, you can put them into this research. You could research the item, like this this gel here. We can go ahead and research that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move slightly over here because <laughs> I'm being assaulted. Um, once you do that in the duplication menu, I can now see. I I went through and I got torches, right? So now I can just get infinite torches and infinite wood and infinite rope and let's get that magic mirror back because we're gonna need that. Super duper nifty if you've never seen it a couple things about the console version as we go maybe try to find our first uh, little ooh, there's some iron there should we get that we should get that let's go find our first little area i i think that the controls are admirably done even though uh you know the the console version is is inferior to the pc version in in a couple of regards. One, on the PC version, you've got the ability to do mods with Tmod Loader, which I think at the end of the day is gonna be the superior way to play the game, but that's just a personal opinion. And then on top of that, you've got the better control scheme with the, the keyboard and mouse. But, but it is admirably done. It is actually quite good um, to to use the the controller. It's, it's it, Once you get used to it, it's fine. Um, a little 1.4 feature. Look, you can stab in any direction with the short swords. It's actually kind of nifty. Uh, and you have like all the controls at the bottom of the screen. However, this is a big caveat here because I think this is important for people to to know. Uh, it kind of, and, and by kind of, I mean it really sucks when you're playing split screen on the, the console because it just takes the UI and makes it super tiny. Do I want to deal with this guy? Uh, I'm going to get my booty whooped, aren't I? Bring it. Uh, uh, this is master mode. And if you didn't know, on the channel, I did a hardcore master mode playthrough. Also did a Terraria modded uh, playthrough. And I'm going to do some more modded stuff in the very near future as T-Mod Loader gets um, 
all of the 1.4 support. Right now it's in its alpha for 1.4. Um, but this is my little tip. Find a cactus area, find the, the desert area as quickly as possible, get a bunch of cactus, and make yourself some easy peasy armor because it is a little bit better. And potentially a sword because the cactus sword on master mode is a little bit better than the short sword you're getting um, just because it is a tiny bit bigger. It's got a bigger attack radius. But with that said, the, the, new, the way short swords work now um, it's actually kind of nice. So like as long as you're not taking stupid hits like I am, um, it's it's pretty nice. So we've got this nice little area here that we started at. I'm going to go ahead and build a house as soon as our guide gets out of the way. Oh, he messed that up. You can switch between um, the auto placement for, for this and not by pushing in the right stick on Xbox. Not sure what all the controllers or the controls are rather for PlayStation. Um, so you're just going to have to keep an eye on the bottom of your screen. And like I said before, uh, that stuff gets really tiny <laughs> when you have another player and you're playing split screen. It's a pain in the butt. Even with a giant TV. I was playing with um, one of my kids earlier and it was just, it was bad. It was really bad. I was like, ah, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm getting old, I'm like squinting at the TV. And then like she who was five got up and. Started doing the same thing. I was like, oh, thank God, it's not just me. <laughs> so, you know, keep that in mind. It's pretty bad. There are some settings here. You it, And this is stuff to keep in mind if you're playing on console. Um, you have some video settings that you can go ahead and adjust stuff just like you can in general with Terraria, such as like parallax and whatnot. Parallax is the depth that you can put things at, like the background versus the foreground. I tend to like high parallax, but that's just what it is. Um, and then obviously you can adjust some of the graphical stuff if you're running on like me an xbox one rather than an xbox series x or s uh, so you can kind of help that out a bit you can also change now the health and mana style so classic is the one that was th that you've seen bars is if i leave it's the bar up in the corner rather than the hearts but i kind of like the fancy one i don't use it very often so we're gonna go back to fancy and of course you've got a bunch of other stuff here that and some of this these settings are new. Uh, you have interface layout, so you can completely change this. My scale is all the way up now. Granted, the way that I'm recording my Xbox, it's plugged in through my capture card, and then the capture card is plugged into the monitor. So it's running at my 1080p monitor, um, which is right in front of me. But if you were like, I don't know, if, if you were on your, your TV, you could totally change this. Uh, so like the split screen one, um, this, this really increases the the uh because obviously if you have another screen on the bottom but like you can you can make it a bit bigger if you need to um and it's really nice to be able to do that so just a little pro tip there's a bunch of options there available to you as i was sitting here crafting i actually just noticed that there's like a little red outline for stuff that hasn't been uh, added to the research yet so that's kind of nice you can kind of come in and um get this all researched up just like this, which is pretty cool. Uh, but now I have to, of course, go back through. And if I add my pickaxe, you see that there's no longer a red border around the UI. It's actually uh, pretty cool. I can dig it. Now that I've got my uh, awful box houses built with enough space to, you know, add chests and stuff as we go. But now that I've got this built, I do want to quickly also mention that on console, uh, if you come over here and you go to controller bindings, bam. Uh, and then you go, so these are all the different types of bindings there are. So like if you're dealing with equipment or, or you're dealing with the shop and whatnot. Um, so the, the important thing to know is that if you're over here, you can very easily change things out just by rebinding it as you see fit. But quick heal, quick mana and quick buff are all, you hold the left bumper and you do the, the, the D pad. So like left bumper up is a quick heal. Really nice to know because um, if you think that you have to like go to your bar and hit the heel every time, it's just, it's, that's not gonna, don't do that. It's, it's gonna take way too long. It's also a couple other things like, you know, for your inventory, for example, being able to split stack with left trigger or use an equipped item or um, where is it? Throw the held item. Like all of this stuff is here. If you didn't know what it was, there's a research item thing. So you could just, use this to research stuff um, while your inventory is open totally fine um, there's also stuff for chests and equipment like your hot bar so like going to um, the first 
option on your hot, hot bar, for example. In fact, we can actually go ahead and just show you, for example, that we can do, let's say, oh, where is it? Where, where, I just had an open hot bar, let's say six. So we're gonna go ahead and do right uh, mouse or right, right bumper with B. So you, we have a RBX and an RBB. And oh, dang it, I didn't hit apply. That's okay, it's fine. We're good, we're good. And then let's say, for example, I go to my inventory and we go, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's, um, let's swap. Actually, you know what? I kind of like that being there. And then if I want to go to uh, the first one, I do right bumper and then I hit X and it goes to that one or I hit right bumper and go B and then it hits that one. Hope that makes sense. That, that, that's like little pro tips on the, uh, the controller. That's going to make your life so much easier on console. Um, I prefer having those those hotkeys and then memorizing them because like me, if I wanted to, I don't know, let's say go to Magic Mirror, for example, really quick, or like back to my my weapon, you just you just gotta know your, your hotkeys, especially in the heat of the moment, you're gonna forget them. Just usually how it works. Do I wanna go that way? Probably not. And we are on journey mode, so I could immediately set it to daytime, but it's kind of cheating and just to make sure that it was clear what I was talking about with journey mode earlier is that if if you have an item you have to have enough of it to research it um, and then once you research it you can have infinite amounts of it this is really nice for people who don't necessarily like farming all the time or really like building and you just want to go collect the stuff you know you still have to earn it man the zombies are brutal if you've watched the hardcore series you know that but it, it's one of those things if you if you went and defeated a boss and you earned the loot, now you can just, you know, duplicate it. And it saves a lot of time. It's not like you're sitting there cheating. It, it does require you to actually do the work the first time around. And I like that approach. I think that's a lot better. You know, one of the things, and I don't know if any of you guys are parents, but one of the things I appreciate about that is for me, when I watch my kids play Minecraft and they just go and duplicate a bunch of stuff, they don't know actually how to play the game because they just know how to have it all given to them. Is that great? Not necessarily. But when, like, uh, uh, it was two weeks ago, I challenged them. They they are uh, 5, 8, and 10. So you think that they would be able to figure this out, right? I challenged them that if they could all work together and get diamonds, which is something they haven't done without cheating, then I would give them all a full candy bar. We bought a bunch of candy for, like, movie nights, right? Uh, they, they couldn't do it. It was mostly a working together issue to do it, but they, they still couldn't do it. And that's, that's partly because just creative mode allows them to be lazy in that regard. And, and I don't, I don't really like that so much. So that's the thing to, to keep in mind. I like this because you actually have to work for it to get it. And then once you get it, you're, you're, you're Gucci. I'm gonna try to collect some stars. Although you need 50 stars. <laughs> you need 50 stars to duplicate them. So maybe it's not that worth it. You know, one of the things that makes the UI so unbearable on my TV and something that I probably should just adjust in the UI scale settings is the fact that I'm running a 4K TV and uh, the, the the UI scales to the 4K. Uh, so it's kind of tiny in comparison. You'll know this is an issue if you have like a PC with a 4K monitor or something like that. Like all of a sudden when you get into a game, you're like, why is the scale all off? <laughs> Everything's super small. Um, yeah, it's just, you got to play with the, the settings a tiny bit. Something I should mention. Oh, I am not going to last long. I got a wormy boy. I gotta, oh, by the way, if you're wondering what the... Oh, goodness. Oh, what the uh, arrows are above enemies. It's telling you what you're targeting because it auto-targets stuff for, um, for ranged attacks. You can override that if you really would like to. Um, it's, it's actually quite simple, but it's nice for if you only have like one thing you're fighting or you're fighting like a singular boss. That way you're not having to individually like actually aim with one, um, one stick, which is a problem because, you know, you can aim with this stick on the right, but to jump, you also have to hit A and then you just can't, can't that's not going to work. So it's not, not the greatest. Obviously you can also aim with this. So, um, it's just one of those things. If you want to move this way and aim this way or move this way and aim this way, you gotta, you gotta work at it a bit. It's a bright new morning and we need to go find a cave because I haven't yet. It's kind of a problem, honestly. It is kind of a problem. 
I, you know, caves, natural caves, by the way, this is a small world. S small uh, is not, I wouldn't recommend small, I would, I would recommend medium, or if you really want a huge world, to do large, but it's, it's a bit harder to find a, a natural cave. And the caves, natural caves in particular, are very important for fighting, uh, finding your first loot and, and whatnot, which does accelerate your game significantly. You're not just going to go, you know, you're not just going to go wandering around and find a bunch of loot on the surface. You, you do kind of got to go into a cave to get some of the better stuff. Um, also with 1.4... You can get wings outside of journey mode. So if you're like, I don't want to play a journey mode character, totally get it. Don't have to. Um, don't even have to worry about, uh, you know, necessarily not getting wings because they added these wing loots to the uh, to the Sky Islands. And in turn, they took away the, I think, it, mm, I don't think it's the balloon. I think the balloon is still up there. But they took away the horseshoe, which is now found underground. So... You know, wings give you reduced fall damage anyway, so that's nice to have. But if you want to find a horseshoe now, a lucky horseshoe, you're going to have to find it underground. So just little pro tips for good old 1.4 stuff. Oh, another pro tip. The the reason why I was hesitant to put the, 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 the torches up there, and I probably have gotten a comment at this point about it, is because if you just push in the left stick, it will... Oh, goodness, I'm going to die. It... Oh... <laughs> Damn it! If you push in the left stick, it will pull out your torch. And that way, you don't have to keep it on your hotbar. It's the same thing on, like, PC. You can have a hotkey to pull out the torch at any given time, which is why I normally, and I will, flip the um, the mirror here. I was just kind of trying to, you know, give a point that you can have a bunch of different keybinds and do what you want with them. You know, I really want to go back to doing a whole full Terraria series again. I really do. That's, it's something that's been on my mind lately. Like, I loved the the Terraria series that we recently did with the Hardcore and the Modded. And honestly, the reception to them was huge. People loved those series. And it was some of the most popular stuff we've done on the channel in a long time. So I'm definitely planning on going back. But I'm at the point where I'm like, I kind of want to go back now. Like, this having 1.4 on console is super exciting. Um, for me, I would personally rather play on PC, like I said, but that doesn't mean that I'm you know, any less excited for it. So I kind of want to just, you know, do another series, whether that be on console or a modded series. And if I do a 1.4 modded series, there's not going to be a whole lot of mods out available for it at the moment. But maybe I wait just a tiny bit longer and try to get some of the bigger ones as they... As they reach the uh, 1.4 alpha, we're getting there. It is getting closer, but we're not quite there yet. So it is something that I'm like, I'm I'm really tempted because I feel like at this point, I could do a, a 1.4 console playthrough. I haven't done a full, just standard 1.4 playthrough that wasn't kind of uh, motivated by hardcore, but... Is that even interesting to watch? I don't know. These are all like super important questions, I think. And and if you guys have any answers for those, or if you guys think that maybe I should do a console 1.4 playthrough, let me know and maybe I will. Or maybe I'll just kind of stick to my original plan, which was to do a bit of, uh, you know, some tips videos for people getting started on console. There's a lot of people out there <laughs> for Terraria on console. You would be surprised. But there are indeed a lot of people out there who enjoy playing the game on console or just that's their only option. And for me, I I think, you know, more power to you, especially because you now just got the best update for the game. I, I love modded Terraria, but I, I have a hard time playing modded Terraria at the moment because I really just want to play 1.4. 1.4 is such a good update. It adds so much more to the game and you're missing out on a lot of that stuff uh, on modded. Although, again... T mod loader 1.4 in alpha uh, is nice, but it's not quite there yet, right? It's still, it's still in alpha. There's a lot of the mods are not even available. The ones that are don't add a whole lot of mechanical changes to the game. It's just like, you know, like magic storage or stuff like that. Ooh, we found some amethyst. Actually, not a bad start. If and here's a tip: if you can find some gems to begin with and get yourself a, just an early game staff, you're going to be doing a bunch of damage. Though, you're also going to need to keep an eye out for uh, falling stars just to get your mana up. Otherwise, it doesn't work very well. But that's, you know, that's just because you have no mana. And if you're playing a mage and you have no mana, it's not going to work. Man, the Finch staff 
It's so pro. <laughs> it's just, I, I love having the finish staff early on in the game because it can do so much. Oh no. Oh no, we're going to die. <laughs> it can do so much damage to these stupid slimes that are kind of a pain in the butt to deal with early on. Go on. Go on, Finch. Go on, Finchy Poo. Get it. Get it. Save my life. Oh no. We're fine. Everything's, everything's fine. Play it cool. Play it cool. Die slime. I got out of there as quickly as I could. I'm going to die if I get hit. So go Finch. Get him. No, Finchy. No, no. <laughs> oh, we're alive. <sighs> we have three life. <laughs> that was, uh, that was intense. More, more so than it needs to be, especially for someone who's done hardcore Terraria. But to be fair, this is also on the console. So, you know, you can't, you can't really, you can't really blame me. It's, uh, it's difficult. It's more difficult. Ooh, now that would be a challenge. Hardcore Terraria on the console. I couldn't think of a better way to pull all my hair out. I'll tell you what, that sounds amazing. I just illuminated this place and realized uh, I was in an absolute pitfall. <laughs> For whatever reason, there's two, not one, but two boulder traps right above me this entire time. Do I know where the, the tripwire is for it? No idea. No idea. All I know is I almost died a horrible, horrible death. Not one that I haven't died before, but one that uh, was shocking when that lit up. Okay. Okay. I guess that that's a bad thing. I bet it's in here too. And I don't have, I don't have a way of illuminating this. Was it in here? Yeah, there it goes. Oh, leave me alone. But where's the other one? It's gotta be this way, right? Is it? I don't know. That's actually shocking. I don't know where it's at. And it scares me that it's just kind of floating there. I would want to take care of it. I definitely would. But I feel like this world is cursed. We just found a nasty trap. I haven't found a single house. And if I had better hindsight, I would have set this world to a medium world. And then we would have been able to find some better stuff right off the bat. Because that's how Terraria works. In 1.4, I suggest medium worlds all day, every day. But for me, if I were to do a, a start, and I've mentioned this before in other videos and then in the, the hardcore series, if I were to do a start with the latest patch and everything, it would involve me going for cactus armor like I did and then immediately going into the um, underground uh, ice biome and trying to find a finch staff, or not finch staff, but the uh, flinks, flink staff, because it's really, really good. 100% that would be the thing I do get the flinks armor and just start with the summoner set because you can passively farm things and get a bunch of early game items that will just absolutely catapult you into uh, a very powerful position within the game. But with all of that being said, thank you for watching. Let me know if you want to see more console Terraria or if you're looking forward to my modded uh, 1.4 series coming soon-ish. If you have any mod suggestions that of stuff that might be available now, maybe I'll check it out and potentially do a shorter playthrough on one of those so we can get Terraria back on the channel. With all of that being said, we shall see you guys next time. <laughs>